Hi, the reason I'm in a magic shop right now is because the Ham Geek Espresso Maker works like magic. When it first arrives in the mail, it'll come in this blue box. Inside, you'll find the Espresso Maker, the instructions manual, which isn't here right now, and this nice black bag to store everything. You might be thinking that this tiny little thing cannot make espresso. Well, you're sort of right. It's the things that are inside that help you out. If you open up the water tank, you'll find a nice little measuring cup that'll help you get the right amount of coffee beans in every single espresso. If you flip it over and open up the little espresso cup that comes with it, you'll find the part that makes all the magic happen, the tamp and the filtration system. But enough about the tech, let's get down to how to actually make the coffee. First, you're gonna need some beans, ground beans. You're also gonna need some hot or boiling water and something to put your espresso in. It comes with a little cup, but we're gonna use something clear so you can see how dense it is and how the coffee looks. First, you're gonna wanna take the measuring cup and get a nice scoop of the grounds. What you're gonna wanna do is take the tamp put it over the cup, and then flip it all over. Then, we're gonna use the measuring cup to level everything out. Do not push it down. What you're gonna wanna do next is take the main pump handle and put the tamp right on top. It'll fit in perfectly on the little circular slot. Then, you're gonna wanna take the filtration system and put it right on top and screw it in. Make sure you screw it really tight or it will leak out and make a mess everywhere. After that, you're going to want to take your boiling water and be very careful to fill up the water tank to the line that says max. Do not go over the line or it will spill out and burn you. Now that you've got that, you're going to take the pump handle and put it right on top and screw that in. Make sure to get it really tight because that will also result in spilling. Now, you're gonna wanna flip it over, put it over the cup you're gonna put your espresso in, and turn the pump handle to the unlocked position. So the process of making it, as you can see, is very easy. You get a nice cup of espresso. It looks very good. It smells delicious. All right, now that we made our espresso, I wanna taste it. But I thought this little thing could not possibly make a shot of espresso. So I decided to taste it out alongside a little bit of French press brewed coffee. Now we'll see which one tastes like espresso and see which one tastes like coffee and hope for the best. I'll take a shot of the espresso first. Very strong, perfect temperature and Definitely very creamy. Now I'll try the French press and see if it's there's much of a difference. And there is. This is much better, much stronger, and definitely tastes like espresso. The main things I like about it are the fact that it's very portable, easy to use, fast, and kind of fun. Some of the problems I have with it are it does make kind of a mess and it's a little bit tricky to clean out as far as long term, but in short term, it's very easy to just, you unscrew it, you dump out the grounds, you rinse it off, very easy. But after long term, it kind of worries me because you can't get into anything in here. So like the pump and the filter, that's all completely like sturdy and not gonna open up for you to clean out. And it's not dishwasher safe, so you can't really get a good clean on it. The Espresso Maker really is an amazing product. It's not as good as any machine grade espresso, but it's still very good. And it's easy to use and kind of fun.